Immigration is a big campaign issue in the run-up to Britain's referendum on EU membership. Pavel Boahud is from Poland. He, like thousands of others, came to the UK in search of higher wages after Poland joined the European Union in 2004. He now runs four Eastern European food stores in Oxfordshire in central England, and he hasn't looked back. I was not forced to live in UK. I chosen to live here. I like being here. I, I like to be a part of a British community, and I like. I'm happy to be in Britain. I pay taxes uh, quite a lot, but that's the life. <laughs> I'm polite on the street. I'm socializing with British people, so I think my contribution to the UK is is quite high. Yes, nice shot. Marta manages one of Pavel's food stores. She's also from Poland. She arrived in Britain four years ago after her college studies. She didn't want to go to university because of low wages in Poland. A migrant herself, she thinks immigration should be curbed. In my opinion, it should be like a bit more controlled. I mean, because you don't know who you are letting in, actually. And then, like, we are working and stuff like that, and we are paying taxes, and then, like, single mothers come over and they are like taking the benefits and stuff like that, we pay for them. EU nationals coming to Britain are enjoying freedom of movement, one of the founding principles of the European Union. According to official figures, net migration, that's the number of people arriving, minus the number of people leaving, reached a third of a million last year, the second highest level on record. More than half of that number coming from the EU. Leave campaigners say it's too much and argue that Britain could better control its borders outside the bloc. Remain campaigners disagree and say the flow of people helps to boost the economy. Economic crisis in other EU countries are said to have helped to fuel current migrant numbers in Britain. But experts say the impact of a Brexit on future flows is unclear. It's much easier, as you know. It's possible, for example, that if the UK left the EU but then joined the European economic area, then uh, there might be actually relatively little change in policy and migration would continue in the same way. On the other hand, it's possible that there would be um, a new immigration system that applies to EU citizens that would make it much harder for people to come in, probably particularly people uh, who are working in low-wage jobs because traditionally the UK immigration system, like that of many other countries, has focused on selecting people who are doing skilled work. In the city of Oxford, immigration is a divisive issue. At the university's famous Oxford Union, politicians like former Prime Minister Sir John Major and Lord Michael Heseltine have debated the effect of immigration on the referendum. But what do local residents think? Uh, because there seem to be more of them here than there are of us. And a lot of them are unemployed and um, a lot of them are just down there begging. I think that uh, it's an issue, but I don't think by voting to leave the EU that's going to solve the issue, so I'm voting to remain. I support immigration, actually. I know that lots of British people like to feel free to go abroad, and I think we should welcome people to this country because it makes us richer and less narrow-minded. Pavel and Marta are not British citizens, so can't vote in the referendum, but they're not worried. The world-famous university, which is Oxford's biggest employer and has students from across the block, has added its corporate voice to the debate, calling for a vote to remain. The outcome could have a big impact on foreign students, Pavel and Marta, and people like them, who call the UK their home. Both Pavel and Marta told Euronews that if the vote is to leave the EU, they will apply for British citizenship.